Hi guys, my name is Jessica and I'm going to be showing you some of our CM hair products that we are carrying. But the main one that I'm here to show you today is the Tron Brush Iron Pro. It's really easy to use four in one. What it does, it's a blow dryer, it's a straightener, it's a comb, and also it's a curler. So it's really easy to use, fast to use, whenever you're in a rush, in a hurry, it heats up fast, you don't have to worry about it. It's made out of two ceramic plates. What it does, it only heats up in the silver area. You see that in the barrel? We have ceramic bristles right here on the side. They don't heat up all the way to the top, so you don't have to worry about burning yourself. So first of all, what I'm going to show you is how to prep my hair. I came with it naturally curly right now, wavy, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to section off my hair into four sections. You see, do the back part. Don't make it too big. That way you can move faster. I'm only going to show you how I do my front section. You're going to do the same movement throughout the entire hair. So it's pretty easy to use. I like it because say I'm in a hurry or I wake up late for work or something, just section my hair super fast, brush my hair, don't even have to use any other tools because I already have my 4-in-1. So you see that? Four sections. Alright, so now what I'm going to show you to do is the C curl. The C curl is going to be inwards. I already have one kind of going on right there. You see that? But I'm going to make it more defined, make it look more natural looking. So, all you're going to do is grab a little section, not too thick. You see that? I'm going to brush your hair. See, my hair is a little tangled. Brush it through. Try to make it a little bit straighter so it's easier to work with. Grab the section, see that? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to comb it through once. I'm going to bring it down, wrap it around towards the end, spin it a little, bring it down. You have your C curl. You see that? See how fast that was? Time not time consuming at all you want to do that throughout your whole hair it's going to take you like 10 minutes you try to do that with the blow dryer it's going to take you huh, I don't know like a good 30 40 minutes brush your hair through do the same thing to the next section wrap the ends down spin it spin it spin it there's your other section go down to your last section Brush it through, comb it down, you see how smoothly that goes through as it's brushing through, that's because of the ceramic bristles. Spin it, spin it, let me get this last section right here, spin, 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 ta-da, you see that, perfect C curl. You see how fast that was? I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Same motions. Brush it through. Use the straightener. See how my hair is getting brushed and straightened at the same time? Alright. Grab the section. Brush it down. Wrap the ends at the end. You see how I'm touching it? I'm not burning myself. There's one C curl. Make it more defined so it's like the other side. See, look at that. Touching the whole barrel, not burning myself. Not one time. Okay, more defined. Bring down the other section. Same thing, brush it through, wrap the end. You see how I'm spinning it so it's not getting tangled? There we have that other section. 
bring down the last section right here. Maybe you want to cut it down a little bit, or it depends on how your hair is. You wrap it through the end, same thing. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. See how easy that is? Look at that. So now we have a nice C curl on both sides of the hair. See that? Really nice. There you go, your seat curl. Really fast and easy. All right, now what I'm going to show you how to do is the J curl. The J curl is pretty same, pretty much the same concept, except you're flipping the hair outwards. So first of all, try to straighten out those curls that you just did right now. See, it's smoothing it out. It's not as defined. It's not going to straighten your hair 100%, but it smoothens it out, makes it a little bit easier to work with. See how my hair is not getting tangled at all? It's awesome. I don't have to go get a straightener, get a blow dryer. I don't have to get a curler. I don't have to worry about the clamps. I don't have to worry about all of that. Why? Because I have my 4-in-1. Alright, so now we're going to do our J curl. You do the same thing as you did with the C curl. Grab a section. Brush it down, wrap it around the opposite way. Curl, 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 turn, turn, turn. There's your J curl. See that? If you would do that with, let's say, a, a curler, it would leave you like that little crease that it leaves you all the time. You see that? You don't like creases, right? I don't like creases either. I like it to look as natural as possible. So with this one, you don't have to worry about any marks. See, look at how fast that was. That's the J curl. I only did three sections, and it grabbed it perfectly fine. You guys can start off however high you want, but this is how, how low I like my hair. I'm going to do the other section. Do the same thing. Brush it through. Wrap it around one time not burning myself. I will keep on saying that because I love this. If you had a curler and you try to put your hand on it like that, you would burn yourself instantly. Get a nasty hand mark. People are always like, hey, what'd you do to yourself? Oh, I burned myself curling my hair. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Grab the section again. Look at that. So easy. See that? J curl. Both sides. How fast was that? Pretty fast, right? Ta da! Now, what I want to show you what to do is the S curl. The S curl, I love it because it's so natural looking with this. Like I said, if I were to use a clamp, you know, your clamp's always coming out. It's like your hair is always falling out. You're always leaving that mark. You don't want that. This one, you don't have to worry about it. Just wrap the hair around, move it down slowly. Same, so straighten out this section again. Make it nice and smooth, easier to work with. Like. I'm going to start on this side. Grab a little section, put the barrel down like this. See that? And wrap. I don't like mine to be. That high up, so I'm going to start right here. You guys can start up at whatever height you like. Wrap it around. Move the hair down. Move. Twist, 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 twist. All the way down, all the way down. You see that? Look at how easy that was. I got a perfect curl. S curl. You see that? No marks. Awesome, right? Grab another section. Not too big. See this? Wrap it around one time. Move it down. Same thing that you did at first. Look at that. Try not to wrap it more than two times. You don't want the hair to get tangled. 
Look at that. Nice, even S curl. Grab another section. You see how I did that front section in three different sections? So easy. Look at that. Move it down nice and slowly. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Look at that. Nice, even S curl. Awesome, right? So fast. I do that in what, like two minutes? All right, we're gonna do the other section. You can do the same concept like this, however you feel comfortable. You can try this side as well, like that. You can just go back to doing how you did the other side. So you're gonna do the same thing, grab a section, like this, start right here, wherever you like to start. Move it down, down, down. Twist, twist, twist. Make sure all the hair wraps into the barrel. Grab another section, down, all the way down. See that? Let me get that section one more time. I like this because my mom, she likes to use it at the shop because she says that it looks way more natural than it would if you had a curl, a curler. Yeah, my mom likes to use it at the shop, guys. Right? And it's easier for you to use at home as well. I mean, come on. If somebody's using it at their shop and you're using it at home, you know it works. <laughs> it's really simple. Grab another section. Wrap it around. Move it down. Twirl. Spin, spin, spin. See that? I'll do my last section. I always have a harder time with my other side. I don't know why one side is easier to me. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that's with everybody. Your right, your left. You know? It's like when you're doing your nail polish and stuff. Well, anyways. You see that? S curl. Let's make this one a little bit more defined. I'm going to do it this way. Oh, yep, that was easier for me. I guess the other side wasn't that easy for me. But, oh, there you go. That's more defined. So you guys can do it whatever way you like. You can do it this way. You can do it that way. As you can see, my preferred way was the way I just did it. Standing up like this. Da -da. Yeah, way easier. There you go. Oh yeah, way easier for me. So, I mean, I guess it depends how you guys feel more comfortable. Down, up. You know, also, let's take this clip off from the back so I can show you guys how to use with volume. Alright, so all I want to do, I mean, depends how much, all I'm going to do is going to section off a little piece right here. It's really simple. Don't grab too much hair when you're going to volume, do it in little sections. That way you get as much volume as possible. Brush it out, brush it out, alright, it's so simple, put the brush right there, pull it forward as you're spinning it, forward, 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 hold it a couple seconds, pull up, put your hand, and brush it through, look at that, isn't that amazing? So easy. Look at the difference between how I had it flat and now I have volume. And that was really easy.